delighted to convey my personal congratulations to everyone involved in the British Curry Awards. Runners up, entrants, winners, everybody. It's a fantastic time to celebrate what I think is one of the great success stories in, in Britain, the British curry restaurant industry, which has grown phenomenally in recent years, contributing billions of pounds to the British economy and creating a, a food which the nation has embraced as its favourite. For me, the British curry culture is everything that is best about our country. A blend of different continents, traditions and flavours bringing together something that is uniquely British but uniquely international at the same time. So I wish you all the very best. There are challenges. I'm acutely aware that the new immigration rules might well hit the industry hard if there are legitimate concerns about the difficulties of bringing people over from other parts of the world from outside the European Union to work in the industry. And I certainly want to work with you to make sure that the new rules do not pull the carpet out from under this great British success story. So thank you for everything you've done to enrich this country and have a great evening. It's stunning tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Justine Alley! God, what am I doing here? I'm so nervous. Forgive me if I get my words in the wrong order. It was bad enough last year when I was only looking after the charity side of things. But it's even worse now because I've taken on the challenge to produce and direct the whole show. So if you hear a knocking noise, it'll be me being nervous. Good evening, lords, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how I got myself into this position. Well, actually, I do. For the last three years, I've seen the show come together in great amazement. And so I took the opportunity as a learning experience for myself. Fortunately, I have had tremendous support and courage from the industry as a whole, who have given me the kind opportunity to bring this event together. I have also had great support from my mother and my father, and huge support from the British Curry Awards team. In particular, Mohammed, Laurie and his crew, who I'd like to thank because without them, I know I would have been lost. It hasn't been easy juggling the demands of this event with my college work, and I know some people at my college may have thought I was up to no good, taking a few days off here and there. But one or two of them are here tonight, so hopefully they'll be able to vouch for the fact I haven't been skiving. This is my first time directing a show, so I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that I don't make any mistakes, but if I do, please do forgive me. My father always said, the word impossible is never found in the dictionary of food. He said, if you come across a wall and you find it difficult to cross, you break this wall and you rebuild it and make it even better. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Ina Manu, not as my father, but for his tremendous contribution. <laughs> He has religiously dedicated himself to the spice industry and is a role model to us youngsters. As many of you will know, each year we nominate a charity to benefit from the proceeds of the collection we make for the British Curry Awards. Last year it was a Bangladesh floods appeal and I went there recently to hand over the money on your behalf. I was only there for four days, but I can honestly say that was the most emotional experience of my life. But I was also intense, it was also intensely rewarding. I shall never forget the beaming smiles on the children's faces I met, many of whom had been orphaned by the floods. Their lives may have been crushed, but their spirit remained strong as ever. It was really exuberating to spend time with them. It made me realise just how important the charity aspect of this evening really is. While we are able to sit in these magnificent surroundings, rightly congratulating each, each other's achievements, there are millions of people there who are still suffering. So, 
I hope you will show your usual generosity by digging deep into your wallets to support this year's nominated charity, the James Whale Fund for Kidney Cancer. Here to tell you a little bit more about how you can help the man himself, kidney to cancer, in 2000, LBC broadcaster, Mr. James Wales. And after watching some of the scenes that you saw, in Bangladesh, it makes me actually just feel a little insignificant to come up and talk about my charity. Before I do that, I am just going to say a few words about your dad, all right? Because your dad is a great man. And he, his family has been touched by the same cancer that I've had, and I'm not going to go into that now, uh, but I'm sure that at some stage he may. Enan Ali and people like Enan have done more to bring different races together in this country than any of the politicians, as far as I can see. And I think all of you here who probably do more to mix cultures than anyone else. <laughs>